Hi there. Welcome back to Grammar Walkthrough. In this video, I'm going to be talking about abridgments in clauses of short agreement and disagreement. Let's get into the details. What are abridgments in clauses of short agreement and disagreement? Well, an abridged clause is a normal clause which is made shorter but keeps its basic structure and meaning. And sometimes the purpose of abridgment is to agree or disagree. For example, here we have two sentences. One, Alex loves my hamburgers. Two, John loves my hamburgers. Now they can be joined into one by a coordinate conjunction like and. So we can say Alex loves my hamburgers and John loves my hamburgers. Here we have a compound sentence. Needless to say, a compound sentence is a kind of sentence which is made by two independent clauses. For those of you who might not know what independent clauses are, you can watch my video about phrases, clauses, and sentences on YouTube. I have shared the link in the description below. Okay, in this compound sentence, the second clause agrees with the first clause. This long sentence is grammatically correct, but it doesn't sound natural. To make it sound natural, we can use to at the end of the second clause. To here means also, and it shows agreement. Alex loves my hamburgers, and John loves my hamburgers too. All right, now we can also do something else here, which makes it sound more natural. To be more specific, we can abridge the second clause. But how? Well, basically, we can do it with an auxiliary. In order to do so, at first, we have to identify the tense of the second clause. Here, the tense of the second clause is simple present tense, which is parallel with the tense of the first clause. Both of them are simple present tense. Now, what is an auxiliary used for singular third person in simple present tense? That's right, it is does. So, we should replace the whole predicate of the second clause with the auxiliary does. Alex loves my hamburgers, and John does too. That's it, as simple as that. Now, the second clause is abridged to show agreement. But is it the only way for abridgment in clauses? No, there is another way to do that. We can change to into so, and place it in the beginning of the second clause, and then reverse the subject and the auxiliary. Now we can say, Alex loves my hamburgers, and so does John. Yes, and this is the second way to show agreement. All right, let me give you another example. Here, we have two sentences. One, my mother called me yesterday. Two, my sister called me yesterday. These two sentences can be joined into one by the coordinate conjunction, and. And then, we place to at the end of the second clause. My mother called me yesterday, and my sister called me yesterday too. Now, it's time to change it into an abridged clause to show agreement. At first, we have to know what the tense of the second clause is. That's right. It's simple past tense, which is parallel with the first clause. But what is the auxiliary used for simple past tense? That's right, it is did. We can replace the whole predicate with did. So we can say, my mother called me yesterday and my sister did too. Now we use the other way to have another form of clause abridgment. Actually here, to changes into so, and then moves to the beginning of the second clause. And finally, we reverse the subject and auxiliary. 
My mother called me yesterday, and so did my sister. Okay, so far we have two affirmative sentences, which are basically positive. But what if we have a negative sentence? For example, Alex doesn't love my hamburgers. So, what should we do? Well, the answer is this: we have to make the second auxiliary negative as well. But instead of two, we have to use either. Alex doesn't love my hamburgers, and John doesn't either. And in the second form, we have to change either into neither, and then move it to the beginning of the second clause. Next, we reverse the subject and auxiliary again. But in this way, the negative form must be removed. Alex doesn't love my hamburgers, and neither does John. And I have to remind you again that these two sentences have the same meaning for showing agreement between two clauses. All right, what about this? My mother didn't call me yesterday, and my sister didn't call me yesterday too. Okay, here because our clauses are negative, we must change to into either. And then abridge the whole clause with did. My mother didn't call me yesterday, and my sister didn't either. Now we can change it into another form. At first, we convert either into neither, and then place it in the beginning of the second clause. Then reverse the subject and auxiliary. Finally, remove the negative form. My mother didn't call me yesterday, and neither did my sister. All right. What about disagreement? What if the second clause is in disagreement with the first clause? For example, Alex loves my hamburgers. John doesn't love my hamburgers. In this case, we have to join them into one by the coordinate conjunction. But Alex loves my hamburgers. But John doesn't love my hamburgers. Now, if we want to make the second clause abridged, all we have to do is just keep does and remove the rest of the predicate. Alex loves my hamburgers, but John doesn't. All right, guys. Now you are familiar with abridgments and clauses of short agreement and disagreement. If you enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing to my channel, and you can also follow me on Instagram. At Grammar Walkthrough. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.